Hey guys, and welcome to Terrific Tuesday. Today we have a fun craft and a new unboxing video. So, I decided not to film the unboxing part because my family wanted to see this uh, thing that I got as well, but I'm so excited to show you guys what I got in the mail today. Basically for Christmas, my I was really upset because I had a subscription to Kiwi Crates, but my parents thought that I didn't want them anymore, so they got rid of the subscription which was really sad and made me really upset. So for Christmas, they got me an even better subscription, which is, which this is no offense to Kiwi Crates, they were awesome, but this is one that's just for girls and has a bunch of really cool presents and all this stuff inside. So I wanna show you guys what the box looks like. It's called a Botty Box. You get one every single month and it is so cool. My parents aren't making me pay for it, which is awesome. Um, and so basically every single month you have a new goal. My goal is a little progress each day adds up to big results. And it came with, um, this is, says what's in the box. It says good vibes only journal. I'll show you guys the journal because I know everyone's wondering. This is the journal I got. It is so awesome. It has a pencil, a pencil pouch attached to it and the good vibes only with a pen. I haven't unboxed it yet because I wanna unbox it with you guys. I also got an avocado sheet mask. It is the cutest thing ever. Like, it's so awesome. Um, I also got an opalescent, which, oh, sorry, iridescent um, cloud necklace. I'm already wearing it. It is too cute to miss out you guys you could get this stuff in your next package who knows and then i got a um a maniki nugu um keychain and bracelet i'm already wearing the bracelet and then this keychain i'm gonna put on my dog's collar because it has like a bell inside it and it's so cute um i'll show you guys the bracelet oh my gosh it's so cute so it has the maniki nugu kitty cat this is, I think it's Japanese. A Japanese, because it has Japanese flowers on its costume. It's, I think it's a Japanese um, type of like cat thing. I don't know why I won't focus on the cat, but whatever you can see, you can kind of makeshift what it looks like. Um, and then it also has like a little bell. It doesn't actually work, which is a good thing because I don't want to have a bell all the time. And it's like kind of like Pura Vita style. It is so, so cute. And the final thing that is going to be our craft for ter Terrific Tuesday. I won't do this every single Tuesday, but I thought it would be a special thing. Is the DIY bracelet kit. It is a mermaid edition. Here are the colors it came with. Sorry about the band-aid, you guys. Um, I hurt my finger today. I broke my nail in half. Like, my real, like, the red part, not the white nail. And it really, really hurts. So, I put on a band-aid so it would stay together. Um, so, here is all the colors. It is literally so cute. Um, and so, here's what they're supposed to turn out like. And so I'm really excited. I was going to do a pattern, but then I decided it would be more fun if I just used a bunch of colors and just kind of went crazy. So I'm going to show you guys what my bracelet turns out once I'm done. This is going to be my good thing for today because I want to make my videos more positive and stuff. So my good thing for today is um, when I came home from school, I was whooped and I asked my dad, can we please go to QT? And he was like, no, I want to go on a walk with your mom. And I was like, please. And then he took me to QT. And I'll show you guys what I got. I got a big red. It is so good. Amazing. And I got dun, 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 sour sketty. They are so, so good. Mm. I just can't bear to stop eating them. Is this a healthy snack? No, but I mean, 
first day back, I was whooped today because yesterday it actually snowed. And so I was playing outside the entire day. We invited the whole neighborhood over. It was amazing. And yeah, so that's my good thing. Now I will see you guys when my bracelet is finished. And then we'll do the outro and the Bible verse for today. Alrighty guys, so a problem actually kind of occurred. Sorry, my light is really bright today. Um, so a problem actually occurred. My bracelet broke. I know, super sad, but we're still going to keep it all positive, terrific Tuesday. So I decided let's just go ahead. And since it's a terrific Tuesday, like I said, we're going to be unboxing the Good Vibes Only Notebook. I am so excited. So first off, let's do a little bit of unboxing. ASMR. Alrighty, I think that's enough with the ASMR. Let's get started. Okay, so first off, okay, I'm just gonna like rate it. Um, so far, appearance, like pres presentation, like nine out of 10. This is amazing. I just wish that there was more of it because it's just purple and a rainbow stuff. But other than that, presentation is amazing. But I just wanna save the presentation for like the best unboxing. By the way guys, I will be posting these unboxing videos every single month because that's when these come in. So now it's time for the pencil. So the pencil, usually I like to rate the pens that come with my journals. This pencil is just an average pencil. It's not sharpened, but if you can see, it has a nice metallic purple on the top, a white eraser, Sometimes the eraser are starched and they don't work as good. But if you just rough it on your jean, usually it works. So this is a real eraser. So good. Um, and then now, um, usually notebooks have something special about them nowadays. Because, I mean, 21st century, we got to have something special about our notebooks. So they have something like to attract the customers. So uh, let's do the attracting rating. So I read the, so this attract, attract, I don't know how to say it. Um, the attracting part about this notebook, I think is supposed to be the puffy sticker that says good vibes only. So you guys can kind of already see what's bothering me. The cloud is moved over here, but it has the traditional vibes font, which is so good. And... It even has a puffy zipper for the pencil case part. So that's amazing. Uh, it has the brand sticker. It isn't a big sticker, so I'm happy about that. And let's look at the back. So, oh, I gotta rate the attraction. I rate the attraction probably 10 out of 10. It's amazing attraction. Like. I wish that the background was kind of better, but the attraction is still like wonderful. Like this is a super squishy and just like satisfying thing to touch. All right, so now let's look at the back. The back is perfect. It's just like traditional warning sticker because we always need those and like things because we always want to have a warning. If there's not a warning, that notebook might be a little bit sketchy. And then it says Snifty, which is the brand. <laughs> Um, the back, I rated it 10 out of 10. Perfect. It has a warning sticker, which we all need. So now let's look at the pages, because sometimes pages have a special thing. Are you ready? Nope. Just boring notebook pages. But they are thick-lined, which I'm really happy about, because some notebook pages have really thin-lined. These are thick, which is awesome, because for people like me who have a big like handwriting kind of style this is 
perfect for me. So usually pencils write a little bit different, so I'm gonna sharpen this pencil and we'll see how it is and we might have to change our rate. By the way, I write the uh, notebook pages like a nine out of 10. I wish they were more exciting and had like rainbows on every single page, but they're thick lined, which makes me really happy. So let's sharpen the pencil and see if it'll change the pen rating. Alrighty, let me explain what happened. Basically, I tried to sharpen this and it did not work. It took like two minutes and I was gonna do a time collapse. And the thing just like, it didn't take two minutes, but it took like, like a minute. And I realized that this thing is gonna need an electrical sharpener because the only problem about pens with paint around them, pencils with paint around them, is you see, you have to sharpen through the paint and the pencil shavings. So it takes forever. So I think I'm just gonna use my teacher's electric sharpener. So now time to rate the entire thing, packaging and all, one through 10. Are you ready guys? Here's our score, dun 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 dun. Eight, because the majority of the scores were nine, which means they're missing one. And then, I changed my score about the pen to 7.5 because uh, it won't sharpen and I won't be nobody if they don't have a, um, if they only have this type of sharpener and they like are homeschooled, then they won't be able to sharpen this and won't be able to use it. Also, my other reason was that there wasn't a pen holder, which kind of annoyed me, but that's not a big deal. Um, I wish it was a little bit cuter it's not it's kind of just bland which was kind of a letdown but yeah my total score was an 8 out of 10 which is amazing i'm sorry i'm just like obsessed with my new cloud necklace um so yeah 8 out of 10 is really good you guys it's your normal notebook but then they took it to the next level that's basically what 8 out of 10 means if i gave it a 6 uh 5 through like 7 um in that range it would be like an average notebook but this got an eight which means it's really good it's like right above average which is amazing um i wish it was a little bit more exciting i know i've already said this a lot of times but i mean like i wish it kind of had more of a theme because the purple background and a rainbow just isn't really a theme i think they just took a random color that girls like but this might like a guy might want it too and so yeah i like um so but Overall, it was really, really good. I will see you guys next month on a terrific Tuesday, hopefully, because I think it comes in every single Tuesday. But I will be posting every single week now, I believe. So, yeah. Bye, guys. Here's our first for the day. Better is a dry morsel with quiet than a house full of feasting with strife. Solomon is a proverb, conducts a thought experiment. Imagine a family with only stale bread to eat and another family with a Thanksgiving feast every day. Proverbs 17, 1. Now time for our Tuesday takeaway. Basically what this verse is saying is there are some people who are dying of hunger and they only get one piece of stale bread every day, yet they keep a smile on their face and they're just thankful for that one thing. You see, one snack that we're having could be the biggest meal that a starving person could have ever had in their entire life. We need to be more aware and more thankful for the things that we have because lately, I think over quarantine, we've became less thankful and more greedy because we want to make sure that we get everything we need. Now, I'm praying for everyone and I hope we all have a wonderful week. Bye, guys.